everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are going to be making a mask for your hands. We're going to get rid of wrinkles and dry looking and flaky looking hands. And we're going to transform your hands to soft, smooth looking hands. So if you're looking to get your hands to basically match your face to get smooth hands, this video is for you. So continue watching. So here we have our baking soda. And baking soda is sodium bicarbonate or bicarbonate of soda. We're going to be using a tablespoon of the baking soda baking soda will help to exfoliate the skin it will help to get rid of dead skin cells on the surface of the skin now take a look at my second ingredient here I have some orange peel and this is dried orange peel orange peel is rich in vitamin C have to clear hyperpigmentation have to boost the collagen production in the skin I'm gonna blend the orange peel to a powder and take a look here I have the blended orange peel I'm gonna use about a teaspoon of the blended orange peel powder add this to the small bowl with the baking soda And now I'm going to mix the two together, mix in baking soda and orange peel powder. Next ingredient is petroleum jelly. And petroleum jelly helps to hydrate the skin. It helps to lock the moisture in the skin. It helps to soften dry, flaky looking skin. So today I'm going to be using one tablespoon of the petroleum jelly. We're going to add this to the bowl along with our baking soda and orange peel powder. Next, we're going to reach for some aloe vera gel. And I'm using the store bought aloe vera gel. Help to hydrate the skin. I'm using a teaspoon of the aloe vera gel. Pour that in. And now we are going to blend. We're going to let the petroleum jelly absorb the orange peel and the aloe vera gel. So keep mixing. We're not adding any liquid to this except the aloe vera gel. And just mix into a nice paste. We are mixing baking soda, petroleum jelly, orange peel, and aloe vera gel. So mix and mix well. We are softening that petroleum jelly. Now once this is done, nicely mixed in, what we are going to do, we're going to add one final ingredient to this. It's optional, but if you have it, use it. And here I have some honey. Vegan, go ahead and use some vegetable glycerine. And you have to hydrate the skin, but it is rich in antibacterial properties. And I'm going to use just a teaspoon of the honey. Pour this in. One teaspoon honey. If you're using vegetable glycerine, go ahead and use just one teaspoon of the vegetable glycerine. And now, guys, take a look. This is totally blend in. This is what we're going to use to exfoliate our ends. Now take a look at my hands before. Now there are two ways to use this. You can simply use it to exfoliate your hands or you can use it to exfoliate and also to wear it as an unmask. To wear it as an unmask, you're gonna need a pair of gloves. So you're gonna reach in the bowl and scoop your mixture out like I'm showing here. And then you are just gonna use it to massage your hands like I'm showing here. Focus on the knuckles. This is gonna help to soften, reduce wrinkles, get rid of rough hands, get rid of dry, flaky hands. So use it to exfoliate your hands. Now, you're gonna do this for about a minute or so. And you can even take it up like this. Now, once this is done, you're going to go back in, you're going to take the rest, apply it over your hands like I'm showing here, and then you're going to reach for your gloves and you're going to place your hands in your gloves.
you're going to put your gloves on. Now once your gloves is on, and if you make a mess like mine, just rush your gloves off. And you're going to just take your hands and you're going to distribute the mixture all over in the gloves. You are going to wear this on your hands for about an hour or so. Or as long as you wish to wear it throughout the day, at least half an hour, you need to wear it on your hands. Every five minutes or so, go ahead and just work it up in the gloves on your hands. And then after that, you are going to remove the gloves. Now, once this is done, you're going to slowly remove the gloves and take a look what I'm doing here. I am removing the gloves. Now after that, take a look. This is what it looks like. I like to go back in and I like just to work it on my hands a little bit. And then I'm going to rinse this off, preferably with some warm water or room temperature water. Now take a look. This is it after rinsing. And you're just going to pat dry. Go ahead and pat dry with your towel. And take your hands and rub across the top and feel how soft it is, how smooth your hands is. Then I like to go back in and I take a little oil, any of your favorite oil or your hand cream, and you're going to massage it on your hands. So you massage this on your hands. And once that is done, you go about your business because now your hands is soft and smooth. Now you want to use this treatment at least once per week for best result. However, you can choose to use it as often as you wish to soften your hands. And there you have it. Thank you all for watching. You like the video? Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Show your hands off, and don't forget to leave a comment. Thank you all, and I'll see you in my next video. Now.